Question number six. Two parallel cords AB is equals to four centimeters and CD is equals to ten centimeters lie on opposite sides of our center of a circle. A particular distance between the two cords is seven centimeters. Calculate the radius of the circle, leaving your answer in sad form. So the first thing is to draw a sketch of that circle. So let me draw a sketch of that circle. So the first chord that is AB is four centimeters. So I'm going to indicate it here. And the other one is uh, So this is A, this one is B, and uh, this is a chord C, D, and then I will let the center of the circle be located at that point, and uh, there's something I've given, that the perpendicular distance between the two chords is 7, so I will ensure that perpendicular distance passes through the center, remember these chords are parallel to each other so meaning that this distance between them is constant so this distance between the two chords is given as 7 so with that uh, one thing you're supposed to note uh, you can see why I've drawn this perpendicular bisector because it is going to bisect this distance between the two chords will bisect a b and c d to so given that AB is equals to 4, so this would be 2, this would be 2, then CD is 10, and this would be 5, and this would be 5. Because uh, this uh, perpendicular bisector of these two chords will definitely pass through the center of the circle. This is a property. Now from there, uh, to get the radius, I will draw the radius, oh, same one radius there, and then I will draw another radius there. So these are the two uh, possible radius, so I'll let this one to be given by R, that is the radius, and this one is the radius, this is the center. So then um, when you look at this, these are two right angle triangles, so these are right angle triangle here, and then there is another one here. These are two right angle triangles, and uh, for those triangles, uh, I know this uh, distance between the two chords is uh, seven. So if I can let uh, this is point O from this point, I may call this point N, and this one is. M. So NO, let NO be X. And since NM, NM is the distance between the two chords, is 7, this will be given by 7 minus X. The remaining, that is OM. OM is 7 minus X. Because the whole distance NM is 7. Now, with these um, sketch and those measurements indicated there, it is possible now to calculate the radius using the two right angle triangles so let me start with the right angle triangle at the bottom i will give the expression for the radius using pythagoras theorem so the first expression for the radius will be radius squared is equals to the base squared plus the height squared which is x squared this will give uh, r squared is equals to 25 plus x squared the second expression for r i'll get it from the triangle the right angle triangle at the top so to be r squared is equals to uh, the base squared is 2 squared the base mb plus uh, 7 minus x squared so this will give a 4 plus this will give a 49 minus a 14x plus x squared when you expand 7 minus x squared so this will give uh, r squared is 
x squared minus 14x plus 53. This is a 49 plus 4 to give 53. I've organized it. So now you have two expressions of r squared. The first one is this one and the second one is this. Since these are two expressions expressing the same thing that is r squared, I can simply uh, equate these. I can equate these. This is an expression for r squared and this one is an expression for r squared. So this I'm going to do it. I'll take uh, this expression that is uh, x squared minus 14x plus 53 is equals to 25 plus x squared. So with this now I'll be able to get the value of x. Uh, when you look at is x squared on this side and x squared on this side. When you subtract x squared on both sides, you'll definitely get it uh, eliminated. So negative 14x is equals to 25. Take 53. This will be negative 53. This will give this will give negative 14x is equals to negative uh, 25 minus this will be negative 28. And with this now, you notice that you get x to be two now after getting x now it is possible to get the radius because uh, i'll just use uh, one expression for r squared and i'll choose this one i'll choose these so r squared is equals to 25 using this one 25 plus x squared plus x squared in this case x is 2 just substitute uh, substitute uh, x squared the 2 so x is 2 so x squared is 2 squared this will give um, r squared is equals to 25 plus 4 get 29 and uh, now to get r get the square root of both sides and since you're required to leave your answer in sad form you just be the root of 29.